The global apparel industry had a revenue of about $1.5 trillion in the year 2021. And that revenue is expected to rise to $2 trillion by the year 2026. And you know what? Part of this revenue is ready for all the smart players in the industry to cash out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good day, everyone, and today you're welcome to Sector Craft Channel. I remain Joquette Solomoni Sector, a serial entrepreneur majoring in fashion, and I'm based in Lagos, Nigeria. Gay, gay. I want to say thank you to everyone that's been on this channel and coming back again. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and press the notification bell. So, what are we going to be discussing today? We want to be discussing five tips on how you can make extra cash as a designer, as a fashion entrepreneur, or as a tailor. Because most people on this side of the world where I come from, you would have known me with this term right now if you're always following this channel because I am from Africa, Nigeria, and most uh, designers here are still just on the level of tailors. So I will always try to include uh, them as I discuss, but especially, for designers, for fashion houses, and for tailors. So how do you make extra cash and be part of those that will cash in on this revenue of the global apparel industry? Number one is words, retailing or reselling other LCW brands' products, what? For profits. Let me explain to you. You know, uh, we here at Central Fashion, we are into RTW, we produce for startups, we do a lot. But do you know that even as a dad, I still resell for other RTW brands that are not even producing from me? Ask me how. Most of the times when some clients come to us, and as a dad woman, we don't have the design, the words. What do we do? We don't lose out on that cash. We just reach out to other brands. And that's what I've been saying about collaborations. You can't stand alone in the fashion industry and you think you can make it. So we just reach out to other brands that we know that are into RTW. So we just say, okay, do you have this specification? Do you have this size? Do you have this? Send us this design. They send to us and we send to our own clients. We put our own profit margin on it and come to think of it, the clients get to buy it and some of these other brands we work with they don't really put their label on it so it's so easy they will not just they just feel maybe it was an omission we didn't put our label our fashion label on that particular way and before you know it we have made even much more profit than on our own production i want to tell you something that is really really working if you are not cashing in on this oh you're missing a lot let me explain the jeep to you it's uh you know my director my director is my husband. He has actually worked before with evil guys. The evil guys in Nigeria, let me explain to you, let's be more relaxed now. They are the they are the commercial hub of Nigeria in the sense that they are the ones that control commerce in Nigeria, buying and selling. So my husband was actually into uh, freezer sales before he went to school, he started anything. And do you know what he would do? When the, he was selling in a, uh, in a shop and when other people come and say, I need a freezer, the evil guys, they will not just say, I don't have. You say, wait, I'm coming. Let me go to my other shop. They will go and bring it from their friends. Actually, on their own, if they are to sell their freezer, they are going to have, let me say, 10,000 Naira again. The one they are taking from Chukuma, they are going to have 15,000 Naira, and they are going to tell you, ah, this is tested, is this, is that. And immediately they will sell that their neighbor's freezer and make a profit margin again of 15,000 Naira, as against selling their own, that they will make a profit of 10,000 Naira on. Come on, guys. <laughs> My husband just saw the jig. He said, hey, this is working. Everybody say it is working. He just said, ah, this is working. That's how he started it. And before you know it, as an undergraduate, as an SSC holder, he started continuing. He started controlling large volumes of money. Yes, because he was just cashing in, cashing out as in, he was just making it. So that was how my husband was just making it left, right and center by selling his own product as well as the other brand's products. And that's what you can do. So look out for other RTW brands, ready to wear brands that have 
projects on ground already, uh, have a synergy with them, have the prices, have the uh, uh, sizes available. So you could even post on your page. So if somebody just says, I want this, it's not taking anything from you. There is this my tribe. They are called the Yoruba people. They are always, I, I, I hate this character of yours. They are highly competitive to the extreme that you don't want to have anything to do with you if you're doing same trade or you're working, you're into the same industry with them. They'll feel you are their enemy. You don't have anything to do with you. No, that is bad. Yes. So by selling your neighbor's products, you can even make the best of gain and you really make the best of cash at this time. So that's number one. So right now we move to number two. Number two tips on how to make extra cash as a designer or tailor at this time is worth designing for other brands. You might say, how is this done? It's really been done. Yes, we've had other brands, even those that are not in Nigeria, reach out to us and say, we want you to achieve this design for us. It's all about your specialization. Are you top of mind when it comes to maybe uh, bespoke suit in Severo, making suits like bespoke suits in Severo, uh, that's what we do at Central Fashion, as, as suits are soft notch. So we've had other brands uh, reach out to us and say, help us out with this suit production, male suit production, and we do it, we send to them, we really make our game, and those brands also make their game. And that's, that's what is done in the world. You see US-China uh, relationship, most of the wares you see in the US, they are produced in China. They are produced for companies, uh, apparel companies in the US. Their production base is in China, but I don't know our challenge here in Africa. It's high time we, we woke up out of this sleep and we started making it. So you can be designing for other brands. Yes, that at your, your best points, if this is your niche, if this is your area of specialization, and you're so good at that, they'll reach out to you for that and you produce for them. And you be you they, they are focused on they are, they are best areas and you're focused on your best area. So I think that's another way. And I don't want to leave out the tailors that are watching this. So if you're just a tailor, you don't have a known brand already, come to think about it. This is the world of uh, everybody being influencers. On your page, on your WhatsApp page, your status, your Instagram, be showing that thing you're very good at, your niche. Make those beautiful designs, post them on your WhatsApp status. So a brand could just reach out to you. Can you do this for me? And that's it. You'll be making it. So that's it for tailors. So we move to tip number three. Drafting size charts for sale. Yes, you might say, is it working? It's more than working. We're talking about you developing your passion in this fashion industry and turning it to a money-making machine. We've had people reach out to our brand and they will be saying, okay, uh, I want you to do this uh, size chart, uh, create this size chart for me. I want to, and you might just feel it's nothing. It's until you go into the production of RTW, depending on the model of brand you want to be running, and you will see the peculiarities of the, your mode of operation and your designs, your style, then you know that you really need a specialized size chart, not just the one online. And if you're so good at crafting real, size charts that's another means of making money you just say okay these are my account number this is this just let me know your specification i'll do this for you and you're making your money you are making what your money so i'll not spend too much time on this so we go to number four number four mm -hmm. is what i want to say what i want to say is something uh inborn something a passion something you love something that is in you and you now go for further training for maybe uh why do you call yourself a designer or why do you call yourself a tailor what is your skill what is the skill set you have that is differentiating you from the other person in the industry your own might be that you know how to style people very well that means you could be a wardrobe panelist yes you could bring up all that a person will be needing for a month and we have all these big icons in the society some of them don't know how to dress you could just walk up 
If you are always dressing yourself, forget if it's okrika you're wearing or if it's two yard, 1,000 naira. But you know how to manage yourself, package yourself, the way you do the design, the way that's your own area. Oh God, come on. You will just package yourself very well and you just say, Ma, do you know that I can actually uh, plan your wardrobe for you for the next three months? You see, you mean it. Ah, yes, this color will go with this, that will go with this, this shoe will go with this, this hat will go with this. You say, okay. Oh, when they miss any help, what do you see and say? And then uh, the, the person says, ah, this girl is making me funky for you. This girl is taking me to the world. Okay, let me give you a try. So you don't make your price too high for a start. Maybe you're just a tailor or a designer. That is how you will build a portfolio in a business. That is your passion. And you're really going to be making money from it. And from that, you go for further training there on wardrobe analysis. And before you know it, you start Getting your ego, your kudi, or or, or or what whichever one you want to choose in my local dialect here, you'll be making your cash from it, extra cash, and that is that. So we move to the fifth tip. I'm going to give you an additional tip, although I said five tips, but I'm going to give you an additional tip, making the sense. So we're going to move to the fifth tip, and the fifth tip is what most tailors do for free. What did I say? Most tailors, yeah, do it for free. Yeah, Sulia so will just call you. Hey, Badale, I have a wedding, you know. It's on Saturday. So, help me to buy 10 yards of uh, Adire, uh, put uh, bridal satin, and help me to put uh, uh, Yori Yori, and please do this design for me. And Bada Bada, you go, uh, you go there. Ten, uh, three hours, four hours. We are looking for the bed. Ah, Mommy Sulia, is, really, uh, is it this one? We are showing her the video. And that is what. You are fabric shopping for half of free. And she's just getting paid for the dress. Who, who is the mumu here? Who is the person? You're just walking for free. Do you know that we have fabric shoppers? That's their own area of specialization. They are going to shop your fabrics for you. And that's if you are talented. If you watch my video on this channel on uh, fashion billionaires, exactly how they started. Watch that of Kenneth Easy. That was just his challenge. He said he was not actually... That was just his talent, I mean. He said he was not actually meant to be a designer. But he loved the act of fabric sourcing. He loved the act of working with fabrics. From a child, he started working with his mom. Uh, be choosing the fabrics of the mom, the, the, the fabrics they would use for the designs of the mom. And before you knew it, he went to study abroad, came back, and now he's doing great in the fashion world. And he, he has various people in charge of all other areas. But that had his own strengths, his wants, that fabrics, fabric sourcing, checking the right fabrics and everything. So if that is your strength, you know how to source for the best of fabrics, this fabric is at the latest and, and especially if you're into male production, you know, male, the value quality fabric a lot, even females as well. So you can not just be making extra money from this, you, you, you just do what? You'll be a fabric shopper and you'll be making this. Yes. And the last but not the least is words. Are you ready to hear that this last tip? Ever say again, again. So let me just give you a tip as in I want to make a public announcement before this last tip. And the public announcement is are you there? And you are thinking of how to start your own RTW brand and you feel or you started already, you know, making headway, or you think is it ever possible to expand to scale? I want you to reach out because we're going to be having our group RTW mentorship class from the 3rd and 4th of March 2023. It's a very minimal price for the group class. <laughs> we also have our personal classes. Those ones are one-on-one -on -one with, the, with the coach. You could reach out for us if you are a brand that wants to go for that. So that is a total different price. But for this group class, can you see the course in the description below? And please make sure you register on time. And, and for those brands or designers or production houses that are in need of professional tailors or machinists, you need not bother yourself again. Oh, yes, SFS Tailors Recruitment Porters has got you covered. So you just reach out to us on the numbers showing below. We have professional tailors ready for employment, machinists or joiners ready for employment. Reach out if you need any of these and you will be guided appropriately to be on how to really employ them immediately. And that is it. So the last tip I want to give you as Jara, <laughs> you know Jara, <laughs> this is just the African slang. The last tip I want to give you as an addition, it's worth it's worth drafting 
patent. I might feel, ah, easy, easy. Uh, no, it's very, very lovely and it's very, very nice. If you've not learned pattern drafting, you could go for pattern drafting courses online and you will really be making extra cash from it. Do you know that standard fashion houses can't work without patterns? And if you are a pattern drafter, you're going to be making it. You will not even stay without extra cash. Maybe you draft this pattern for this house today, the other fashion house will call you the other day and pattern drafting if you really meet good fashion houses, they are not just for small, small money. Especially if you now draft for those outside Nigeria, you'll be talking of thousands of dollars. So that is what we're saying. So you have to just think of how can I have some extra cash as a tailor, as a designer, as a fashion entrepreneur. What, what are you losing? Look at what other brands are doing collaborating, working with others, and it's actually working. So don't just feel, it's me, I have to do it. No, 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 the world has gone past that, and that's it. So we're open to collaborations, we're open to networking, and we're open to growing together. So just reach out to us on the number showing below, and if you have anything you want to say about it, or any clarification, just reach out in the comment section below. So to like, come your way in the next video, I remain Jackie, to like, sexual. She'll love you. Bye-bye.